And now let's continue this video series with few selection criteria. So as I was already saying on the previous video about relay selection criteria, those devices, fuses and relays, because they are mainly in the same box, there is going to be a different department that uh, is going to deal with this. And this can uh, be different from one company to another, but they are, uh, but those devices are connected between them. And again, as a hardness design engineer, you have to know how fuses are selected. So you know how to add the correct wires to those circuits. Or maybe the company, they might think that uh, in the future, if you know fuses, relays and other stuff, they might want to transfer you to a different department to do circuits and maybe some other stuff. So that's why they are asking. And if you're an EDS engineer, not only harness, most of the companies will uh, want you to know about fuses and relays. So fuses are measured in amps. So amps is the current intensity. And this is the formula here, a few things. Selecting the correct fuse rating. If replacing a blown fuse in a manufacturer design factory application, for example, in a vehicle fuse panel, then the same type and rating of fuse should be used. If a fuse continues to blow, then there must be a fault with the circuit and a higher rating fuse should never be fitted to overcome this, even temporarily. Doing this creates a high risk of component failure and electrical fire. So this is not something that you're going to do as a harness design engineer. This is going to be the engineer that uh, selects fuses. But it's important to know how fuses work and how are they selected. So when specifying a fuse for an automotive application, the key consideration is fuse selection process is different depending on the device component the fuse is being used for. Electrical components are not being injected from power supplies. It is the component the one that draws the current from the power supply. So this is how electricity works. It seems to be found. Here are some type of uh, fuses. There are several type of fuse currently used in the automotive market and the uh, table below gives a brief description of each. So we have the typical glass cartridge ratings. Some other special fuses, also known as links. You have the strip, the midi, and so So those are a few considerations about fuse selection. Watch this video again, take notes, and isolate the notes that you would need in case you go at an interview to just have a discussion as a harness engineer that has to connect wires to those fuses what uh, you are going to be looking at. So I hope you enjoyed this and see you in the next video.